So, on some docks, you will see something that looks like this. Now, this is a cleat. A cleat is used to tie off boats, but it's also used on sailboats to hold the, uh, to hold the uh, mast, the rope that goes up the mast. So, the way that you tie a cleat hitch is you, go, you would go around a few times just to shorten up your rope, and then once you have about this length, you will take it and you will do figure eights and then you will take once you get and you only have a little bit left you take it and you feed it underneath itself and pull tight but what I like to do is I like to feed it and once you get to, and once you get to here you just twist you put it there and then you just pull and it'll hold in place Alright, so the next knot we are going to be tying is called the mooring hitch. Now, the mooring hitch is just like the Wellman's knot, but it's, but it's uh, not as quick of a release. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our rope, we're feeding one end around the pole. From here, with your running end, your end that is longer, you're going to be taking it and making a loop. After you make a loop, you're going to take your then that you're using and you're going to make another loop and you're going to feed it through. After you feed it through, you're going to take the same rope again and put another loop into it. And then, making sure that your loop does not come undone, you're going to pull it tight. Then, you have your Wellman's, or sorry, your mooring hitch. Now that you have your mooring hitch, your boat will not move at all. It'll just stay here, it'll move in the wind, nothing will happen to it. And then when you're ready to go, all you gotta do is take your rope, pull it, and you're off. Alright, so next up we have the taut line, which is used to just basically kind of tie off a rope onto a pole as such. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rope and start it off with wrapped around our post here. And then we're going to cross the rope over ourselves so we have a loop around here. And then we're going to start taking our working end of the rope and wrap it around the longer end. Next up we're going to make our little, like what I like to call a little smiley face in here. And then we're going to stick the rope down through into the smiley face. And here we have our top line. Alright, up next we have the two half hitches, which is used to tie off a rope onto this, like, for example, a post like this or something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our rope, so let's just wrap it around the post we have here, and it's going to go make a cross over this long end. And we're going to take our working end of rope and bring it up through this bottom here. And we're going to make what I like to call a little smiley face by going over this rope like this. You can kind of see if you were like this, you would have a little smiley face. And then lastly, the smiley face is going to stick its tongue out at me. And I can just cinch this down, tight it to the post, and pull that tight. And that's the two half inches. Next up, we have the round turn two half inches. So, you're going to take your rope. It's the exact same thing as the two half hitches, except instead of going around once, you're going to go around twice. 
twice. And after you hear your entire two half inches, by making your loop, coming up through it, going over, and back through like that. And then it'll cinch. Nice and tight.